the words effective use of your time send chills down your spine or are you laughing in hopeless glee because you know there's no way you're ever going to be that productive. In this video I want to give you some hope and some guidelines to help you manage your time more effectively. How's it going, reinventors? I'm Amelia Sims. This is Reinventing You, where you can be inspired to reinvent yourself so that you can have a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose. I post twice a week, and I invite you to subscribe, click on the bell so that you will receive notifications every time I post a new video. This channel is to help you make changes in your relationships, your health, your career, and in other ways. And one of the ways that you can handle big changes in your life is to have more effective use of your time. As I said in a previous video, which you can either see up here or down below in the descriptions, I was a big failure at bullet journal. I know it's a big spoiler, but yeah, bullet journaling was not for me. But now I'm doing something new that has two names. Some call it time blocking. Sometimes it's calorie calendar blocking, sometimes it's calendaring. Basically, it's taking your calendar and breaking it up into times where you do specific tasks. It's not quite like a list of things, but it's sort of like in this period of time, you're going to work on this particular task, which could mean a lot of different things for each task. I call this a time management solution and I want to give you some basics to help you get started in your own time management process. A Roman philosopher named Seneca the Younger once said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. I don't know about you, but I am a serious time waster. And in fact, in the process of bullet journaling, I realized that was my problem. It wasn't the actual to-do list that really caused me problems. <laughs> I'll still do things. It was how I was using the time to get those things done. How are you using your time? Do you think you are effectively managing your time? You may already do that. If you do that well, give me a thumbs up. If you don't do so well, hey, give me a thumbs down. I want to hear from you. The first thing we have to do is stop depending on our to-do list as much as our larger projects. Let me explain. When I am working on my calendar, I really have to think in terms of the big picture, the bigger things I have to do, not the little things. Like, I know I've got to clean the kitchen. I know I've got to make the bed. I know I've got to let the dog out or whatever. Those things are going to happen, but I really need to focus on doing things like vlogging, recording, research, all of those things I have to focus on. And those are big time blocks. Those are big things. And I can do it on my to-do list, but when I actually look at my to-do list, it's going to take me five minutes to clean the kitchen, but it's going to take me a good two hours to do some work on my vlog. Another thing about it is that when I am doing my to-do list, I don't say clean the kitchen and then write down, wash the sink, mop the floor, clean the microwave, all that stuff. I know, okay, clean the kitchen, I'm gonna do that. And it's kind of the same way in working on this vlog. I know I've got to have a script. I know I have to do some research. I know I have to figure out what the title's going to be and the tags, what my B-roll is gonna be like, all of those things. I don't necessarily have to write those down. I've done this so much, I know what to expect. But if I have the time blocked out, then I can take my time and do those tasks. And one thing that I've discovered is that I've really had to switch over to an electronic calendar in order to do this. Now you could do it on a paper calendar. The benefit of electronic calendar is that you can repeat tasks. A lot of times my computer will know if I've got a task on there and I tried to move it to another day, even if it was several days ago, it's going to remember what I wrote. It's a little bit faster. Also, if I discover something happens and I get behind, I can move my whole calendar. I can be able to look at it, not just at home, but also on my phone when I am away. So electronic calendar, even though that was a learning curve for me is very helpful. Along with using an electronic calendar is scheduling time to scheduling time. Does that make sense? Schedule time to schedule your time. I know that I can't sit down on Friday and say, oh, I'm going to start doing this and have it work. I have got to spend some time in a learning curve. I've got to see how this is going to work. I've got to do it the night before, even several days before, a week in advance, maybe even a month. It takes time 
to set your time up. That will help you be more effective with your time. So do you time block or calendar block? I'd be interested to know. So if you use either of these methods or any of these methods, if you block your calendar in any way, go to the comments below. They're either right below the descriptions or right below the suggested videos. And let me know by typing in block if you use calendar blocking or time blocking in any form. Now there are five things, I like the number five if you haven't figured that out by now, there are five things that I recommend to use in your calendar blocking to make it more effective as well. And I want to start out with the first one which is make sure you put on your calendar your regularly scheduled events. That is the things that you do every week or every day, maybe even once a month, whatever it is, make sure that is on your calendar. The second thing is set up time to set up your calendar. I kind of alluded that earlier, but you've got to say build in your calendar time to set up your calendar. Does that make sense? Like you've got to have that in there. Don't just say, oh, the night before I'm going to do the calendar. You've got to put it on your schedule so that you know this is the time to set up my calendar. The third thing that is helpful is that make sure you have major tasks on your calendar. And usually these are the things that you're going to set up in 90 minute increments. Why 90 minutes? That really is the best length of time for your focus without having to take a break. That's also helps you have enough time to get in the flow so that you can really do your best work. So schedule your major tasks, and make them in 90 minute increments. The fourth thing is make sure you schedule in meetings. I know we all love meetings, right? A lot of times the best time to schedule your meetings is toward the end of the week, like Thursday or Friday. If you're like me, you you do your best work in the morning, in the afternoons is better, but later on the week, later on the day is usually a good time to schedule your meetings and make sure you block time for that. Even if your meeting is a phone call, schedule those on your calendar calendar on meeting times. The fifth way to use your time blocking or time management effectively is to make sure you look back. In other words, look back and say, what really took this length of time? Am I scheduling too much time for my vlogs? Do I need more time for social media? Is it appropriate for me to put on my calendar, you know, time to do household tasks? Or maybe that's a helpful thing, or is it not a helpful thing? Do I need more time to do those things? Make sure all of this is on your calendar. Look back and say, did I use that time? Is that a good time? Do I make, need to make more time? Look back and see what you need to do. And for goodness sake, please try this for at least three weeks, three months if you can. Don't just say, I'm going to try it this week and it fails and that's it. And many of you know, I tried bullet journaling. I made sure I stuck with it for nine months. I really tried it. It did not work for me. But if you want to know if this kind of time management tool is effective for you, give yourself time to use it. Now you know how to manage your time more effectively by using calendar blocking or time blocking. I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss other tips and tricks to help you on your reinventing journey. And if you want to continue to be inspired throughout the week, please join our private Facebook group. I have the link for both subscribing and for joining our Facebook group below in the descriptions. How do you manage your time effectively? If you will go below and in the comments, let me know how you do that. I want to hear from you. Check out this video on the real reason you procrastinate. And don't forget this video is one that YouTube thinks you might like. And you know what my lovely face is here for? Yep, for you to subscribe. Have a great one.